Hey guys, and welcome back to Peck Pong, channel where I talk about matches that I play, things that I do to try to get better, as well as some things that might help you as well. So, another match review we have between me and Jabdiel Torres from Puerto Rico. He's on the uh, Puerto Rican national team, and his rating is around 2,500, um, and he's a left-handed player. So, a little bit different, um, and should be pretty interesting to talk about his game style, because he's a little bit... Um, he has very strong strengths, and it was I have to really kind of try try my best to work around them. I will say that in our last three encounters, uh, he did get the best of me, not by much, by any of them. Um, so this was the uh, semifinals of the Samson Dubina Table Tennis Academy uh, three thousand dollar open, and stick around for the end of this video. I am going to show a serve secret uh, that is really cool and it works perfectly for a left-handed player and a right-handed player combo setup, matchup. Um, and I think you guys will really think it's cool because it is cool <laughs> um, and it's quite inventive. So stick around for the end of the video and I will be showing you guys that. So first off, yeah, he's a left-handed player um, who has an uncanny ability to know exactly where you're going to hit to. Um, he seems to read me like a book whenever I play him. I always hit a good forehand or hit a good backhand and then the next ball I'm, he always seems to know where I'm going and get good counterattacks. So um, definitely had to think about where I was placing the ball or else he was going to um, be able to really read me and, and play to exactly where I don't want to be played to. I'd say his backhand flip over the table is one of his stronger strengths. He seems like he could be able to flip any one of my serves with his backhand. Also if he served and I pushed short to his backhand, he seemed like he was able to really flip those um, anywhere and it would put me right away on the defense. I'd say also his forehand flip, forehand loop is one of his strengths. He really seems to be able to um, direct the ball and he doesn't really miss too many of those. As far as his serves go, he has a good mix of scoop serves along with forehand serves that are kind of underspin as well as some side spin and some top spin. Uh, so you didn't, I definitely had to be aware that he could do any of those serves and, and be ready to adjust. Um, <clears throat> so I couldn't really think too hard about what kind of return I was... I kind of had to be a little bit more open-ended uh, when returning the serves, just so that in case he decides to um, serve, like, say, a heavy topspin, um, just be ready for that. As far as my strategy went, I, I had to kind of work around his... Um, around his weaknesses, not really weaknesses, but away from his strengths because they were so strong. Uh, it kind of left me no option but to go to the other spots. So uh, I tried to push short to the forehand and sometimes long to the backhand, but mainly short to the forehand. And if I flipped, I had to try and flip to his backhand or middle because like I said before, the forehand was so strong. Uh, I wasn't able to do it all the time uh, and I consequently lost a few points that way. Um, but if I was playing well, those were the things that I was doing well. Um, <clears throat> and if I was to get a forehand loop in, I was trying to go once to the backhand, maybe twice even wider to the backhand. Um, because every time I'd go once to the backhand and then once to the forehand, it seemed like uh, he knew exactly that was, that was something that everyone does. And he was always ready for it. And then he would just counter loop it. And then I'd write to my backhand and it was always a, a bit of a mess. And then if I was to loop a forehand and go to his backhand, he many times blocked it directly down the line to my backhand. So just being mentally ready to hit a forehand and then get ready for that backhand uh, loop uh, directly after was something that I had to kind of adjust and, and know that was going to happen because when I wasn't thinking about it, it was very um, jarring and it, it kind of throws me off because normally when I get a forehand in, uh, I can get another forehand in, but against him, it wasn't exactly like that. One thing that I think I should have done better was to anticipate him attacking my serves. Uh, I think it's going to be more of a trend in the future that good players will be able to attack my underspin serve or uh, say a dead serve short to the forehand. Um, I made the mistake of kind of assuming that he wasn't going to flip my serves or if they me leaked medium long. Because most players that I play against do not attack my serves when I don't want them to, uh, depending on the serves I give. 
Uh, but I think it's going to be more of a trend in the future against better players that they will attack them. So I think just serving and having my racket high and ready for a topspin and then being able to do anything else afterwards should be my starting point. And then I think the most apparent thing that I did in this match to switch things up was that I started serving the forehand high toss uh, pendulum serve with side spin, which in my opinion against right-handed players basically never goes well. Just the way my game sets up, I really don't like doing it because it invites uh, a side spin flip to my backhand, which I dislike as well as people pushing medium long wide to my forehand with side spin, which I also dislike. Um, but against a lefty, it's very different. He, he's, it's flipped. He's using his forehand to receive my forehand pendulum serve, and his um, backhand doesn't uh, give the ball a, a short side spin push wide to my forehand, um, just because he's you know, con consistently uh, flipping the ball. So... It's kind of funny because all of my good serves that I normally use against uh, left-handed, right-handed players are now no longer good because uh, they're, they play right into his strengths. So I think that's something that I have to uh, adjust in my game or build into my game is just this ability to have that set of forehand serves ready um, so that when I do play lefties that I can use them effectively. I was a little bit rusty with them and a lot of them leaked a little bit long, but I felt for the most part it was doing its job and I was winning points with it. Um, and the last two times, like I said, I played him, I wasn't able to uh, win the matches and I just felt like he was too comfortable with my serves uh, that I normally do against right-handed players. And that's about all I have to say about the match in general. I hope you guys enjoy it. This was a really cool match. Um, he's, a, he's honestly a really cool guy. He works super hard. And I can definitely see him continue improving in the future and uh, becoming a really good player if that's, if that's what he's dreaming of. All right, let's talk about the serve that works really well against the righty versus lefty combo. And the person who uses this, who I saw it from, was his name is Lin Yun Ru. Yeah, and he is really great at this serve. He does it against everyone I've seen. And basically, what he does is he bounces the ball very aggressively on his side of the table, and he makes his opponent think it's going to be long, but it ends up being short. And basically how he does this is he, like I said, bounces the ball very aggressively on his white line, which normally means that the serve is going to go long. But he hits it down into the table and it goes up, which means it will lose its forward momentum. And then he also combines that with backspin to kind of make it just stop on the other side of the table bouncing twice. And in the video you can see here that Fan Zhendong miss, miss, uh judges the ball several times. I'm sure he does it many times in the match. I only found two that for this video, but it really works. You have to definitely practice the serve and uh, figure out the spin and the ratio of hit to um, forward and also figure out what kind of motion will make your opponent think that it's long because whenever he does this serve, it really fools his opponent. So he's really mastered the, the backswing and the follow through to make his opponent think that it's going to be going long. I think maybe it's possible you can learn to do it against righty righty. Uh, something to experiment with, and I mean it's cool because you can your your opponent will tell you whether or not it's working or not because you'll see that they're confused uh, whether it's long or short. So something to practice and yeah, something to really work on and get better at. That's the video. I hope you like the extra tip at the end. I will see you guys in the next one.